Hey Hotshots, Jess with Emotional Fire Academy here today to talk about this is why you can change fast. Subscribe to this channel if you are someone who is ready to cross from ordinary to extraordinary. If you're already extraordinary and want to be more extraordinary, welcome. I'm Jess. Teach you. I teach tactical mindfulness to help you do just that. So welcome. Happy to have you. This is why we can change fast. Uh, yeah, so I was doing some research for a project, a school project, I'm in a class right now, and I found this interesting article about quantum physics, which is one of my favorite topics, and I wanted to share it with you and put it in the perspective of how we can change fast as people. We have a limiting belief that personality is fixed, that we're the same person when we wake up this morning as when who we were yesterday is who we're going to wake up tomorrow. This isn't true. This isn't true. And maintaining this belief makes it harder for us to change. So let's look at some science. I'm not big on science. I mean, I like science. It's useful, but I don't often present it on this channel. So here's some, a little bit of science today for those of us who are science minded. That's why I got my, my glasses on today. So you, who is you? You is a concept, right? When we're trying to change, we're really trying to change our concepts, our representations, because everything that we experience is experienced through our representations, not through actual tangible experience, right? There is no tangible reality. We live in a simulation and we simulate it <laughs> through sensory, you know, our, not only our sensory experience, but the majority, 90% in our representational systems in our mind, you know, how we, the story we tell about it, the thoughts we think, the beliefs we hold, the attitudes we have. So when we think about you, you as a concept, who are you? You know, if I were to ask you, who are you? Well, let me shed some light on who you are, <laughs> who you are. But first, uh, yeah, let's talk about all the layers of you. Let me read you this quote from the article. I'll put the link below uh, if you want to check out this article yourself. Uh, but it's talking about multiple worlds theory and essentially parallel realities. Uh, so it's absolutely possible there are, there are multiple worlds where you made different decisions. We're just obeying the laws of physics, says Sean Carroll, a theoretical physicist at the California Institute of Technology and the author of a new book on many worlds titled Something Deeply Hidden. Just how many versions of you might there be? Well, we don't know whether the number of worlds is finite or infinite, but it's certainly a very large number, Carol says. There's no way it's like five. <laughs> I love his quote. Um, and then he goes on to say, which is the kicker here, this is what I really want you to listen to. The concept of a single person extending from birth to death was always just a useful approximation, he writes in his new book. And to him, the many worlds interpretation merely extends that idea. The world duplicates and everything within the world goes along with it. So, and then he kind of likens it to, you know, a particle. He says, before you look at an object, whether it's an electron or an atom or whatever, it's not in a definite location. It might be more likely that you observe it in one place or another, but it's not actually located at any particular place. So we're made up of particles, right? Like we are particles. We are energy at a, at a very, very tiny nano level. We are energy. We are this thing that he's referring to, you know, and or potentiality, just like a particle is potentiality. You know, the act of observing it changes, you know, uh, solidifies the potentiality of that particle. We're particles. We would exist in the same way. You know, we're pure potential. Our, pot our personality is pure potential. So you're multidimensional. I mean, let's, let's back out of physics and talk about other dimensions of you. You're multidimensional. So your moods, how many different moods do you have a day? Those are all different versions of you. You know, are you purely an angry person? Are you pr purely a happy person? Or are you a spectrum of all these things? Your desires, you know, when you suddenly get a desire for something. I want to go to the store. I want to go to California. I want to do whatever. Are those, again, are different versions of you. 
You know, the, the desire came from what seems like somewhere outside of you. But when you decide to honor it, you become, you kind of, it, you know, changes your trajectory. You become, you then pursue that desire and start moving in a different direction. Same thing with your dreams. When you pursue your dreams versus not pursuing your dreams, when you, you, you every decision you make is essentially a different version of you. Now, I don't know whether this, this gentleman suggests they're all coexisting, you know, but the whole point here, the point of this whole video is to loosen the concept that I'm the same person every day. I'm the same person every day. Personality is fixed. It's hard to change, right? Uh, as far as your, you know, your body dynamic, think about the cells in your body. So let's, well, let's start at the electron level, you know, as far as electrons and energy, you're like mostly empty space and potential. <laughs> as far as cells go, you're water, <laughs> your cells and water and electrolytes and tiny little <laughs> organelles and all these weird, you know, little organic, your bacteria and fungi and all those you know, little microscopic things, communities that are you. Um, you know, you're on an even bigger level than that. Your, your organs and tissues, your digestion and neurochemicals and, you know, and muscles and bone. None of the, you know, these things are constantly in flux. They're constantly in flux. They're not static. They don't stay the same. You know, your cells are replacing them, each other. They're dying and then they're growing, they're replicating, you know, your age, how long have you been around? You know, you're one year older, you're, you're one year older today than you were a year ago. Like, are you the exact same person you were a year ago today as you are this very moment? But no, no, you've had different experiences, right? You have shifted, whether you perceive it as a big shift or a little shift, all these things are still carrying on, you know? Your body status, you know, maybe you've had periods of time where you were chubby. Maybe you've had periods of time where you were skinny. Maybe you've had periods of time when you were, you had an illness or you had an injury. And were you all the same version of you during those times? You know, were your thoughts the same? No. Were your actions the same? No. These all are all aspects of these different personas of you that have existed that how about your skills? Maybe you used to be an athlete. Maybe you used to be a high powered executive. Maybe you used to f flip hot dogs. I flipped hot dogs, you know, like who have you been? You know, the skills that you had that when you were really at the height of them, like that, again, that was a different version of you executing on different thoughts, different behaviors, different beliefs. And then you're contextual, you know, you put you, what are your roles that you're playing right now? Are you a parent? Are you a wife or a husband? Are you a girlfriend, a boyfriend? Are you a student? Are you, you know, someone crossing the street? What if I put you in a situation, you know, you take on a different role. It's like I told a story about I got on a bus one minute. I was just someone riding the bus and the next minute I was, uh, I see I have a little bit of reflection in my glass. Let me take them off for a second. And the next minute I was the one uh, helping the bus driver, <laughs> like guiding her. I was her helper. Did I expect to make that role shift? No, but that doesn't mean that those, you know, the potentiality for me to do cross that threshold was actualized and I became that. And then your environment, you know, what happens, you put most people in a work environment, they act kind of a certain way. They act like a worker. You put, you put people in charge of a company, they're going to act a certain way, like a CEO, they're going to step into that. People s will adopt roles according to the context. So. I'm going to take all this into account, all this information. I've just give you all this story and data and knowledge. I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever been the same twice? Have you ever been exactly the same twice? No. No, you're not even the same as when you started this watching this video, you've already changed. So this is why it's so easy to change fast because it's already happening. Change is already happening to you f on the nanosecond, right? You're, you're shifting and morphing on the nanosecond internally, you know, contextually. It's the illusion, the, the perception that we create that, oh, I'm the same. My personality is the same. I'm the same yesterday as I was today. That's only a representation we're maintaining in our own mind. This is the actuality of things. This is what's actually happening on so many different levels. You know, and so have you ever been the same twice? No. So personality isn't fixed. 
it's it's so mutable you can literally i talked about changing identities i've been practicing that this week it's incredible you can literally step into a whole new set of personality traits like that like that because you're already changing you're already changing and the only thing holding you back from that type of rapid rapid change like nanosecond like i'm suddenly a different person now 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 i mean it's already happening you're already doing it it's just the belief you hold that that's not possible for you or that's not happening that's in the way so remove that belief embrace the change you're like i'm i am literally a different person every nanosecond i'm you know between all of this stuff I've never been the same person twice, so I can be whoever I want in whatever role I want to be, take on whatever personality characteristics, become everything I want to be, you know, release the trapped self, release this image of yourself you have that is scared and doesn't feel safe and, you know, release that one, become who you want to be instantly. You can do it. If you need help, sign up for my new class, uh, Change Your Mind, Change Your Life. This is a nine-week process where I'll guide you through doing exactly this. And change is guaranteed because it's already guaranteed. It's guaranteed every second, whether we want to, whether we want to accept it or not. On my camera. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you there in the class. Details below. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.